All right, so about a year ago, I made a video replacing the regulator on my air compressor. And when I did that, I drained the tank and a bunch of rust and water came out. So I decided that it might be a good idea to replace this air compressor as it's also almost 25 years old. The date stamped on the tank is 1999, so that's when it was made. So I did go out and I bought a new air compressor, which is a little bit smaller, but I always kind of felt like this one was a little bit overkill for my needs. I bought it because it was on sale at Sears. Okay, so the new one that I picked up is a six gallon capacity and it also came with a Brad nail gun. So like I said, I bought this about a year ago and it's been sitting in the box in my garage, but I wanted to get it out finally and because I have a lot of tire work to do and I figured that would be a good test for it to see if it's sufficient for my needs. All right, so let's see what's in the box. Hmm. So it does have an airline, definitely lighter duty than the old airlines. Comes with the manual. And let's see. All right, so let's go over some of the controls. This is your main on off switch. Okay, this is the tank pressure gauge and this is the regulated pressure gauge. So this will show you how much pressure is in, available in the tank. And then this will show you what the regulated pressure is coming out through the hoses. So you control that with this knob here, right? It'll move, once, once this is pressurized, you'll see the dials move. All right, and it does come with two quick connects so that you can actually run two hoses and two tools at the same time. And then under here is your safety valve. You wanna make sure that that's working and moving in and out freely. That is in case the pressure switch does not shut off when it is supposed to and it keeps your tank from overpressurizing and potentially blowing up. All right, so, and then back here is your drain valve. So when you're done using it, you drain it down to 20 PSI and then you open up this drain valve and allow the moisture and air to drain off. And then you close it when you're done using it. So let's plug it in. And we're gonna turn it on. All right, so that looks like it shut off right around 150 PSI. That's a factory setting. And now we can turn the regulator up to whatever pressure we want. There's 40 pounds, 60 pounds. Okay, and if we turn it down, it dials it back down. All right, so I did want to try out this Brad nail gun that came with it. So I have never used one of these before, so I had to do some learning about it. Uh, I did pick up, it didn't come with nails. I had to pick up an extra pack of nails and also some air tool lubricant because this is not an oilless air tool. It does require oiling. So, and to do that, you really, you're just gonna put a couple of drops of oil 
into the airline. Okay, and you just want to do that each time you use it. All right, so you can see on the nail gun, it does say that the pressure should be between 70 and 100 pounds. So we're going to turn up the regulator until it's probably about 80 pounds or so. And we're going to use it from there. All right, and so to test it out, I want to put this piece of wood back in here where it fell out from. So we're going to put that back in place. There we go. So the pack of nails that I bought come with uh, three quarter, one and a quarter, and two inch nails. I'm just going to go with some of the three quarters. So to, to load it, you just press this button and slide it open and then they fit right in there pointy side down all right and hook up the airline all right that seemed to work pretty well All right, that worked pretty nicely. All right, so now that we're done using the air compressor, we want to put it away properly. So you want to start by draining the air down to 20 PSI. All right, now that it's down to 20 PSI pressure in the tank, we want to turn it around and there's a drain valve here and you want to open up the drain valve to let the rest of the pressure out. And it, you'll also get some moisture that's gonna come out with it. All right, and you wanna drain it out because you don't want this moisture staying inside the tank and rusting your tank. All right, so that's my look at the Craftsman six gallon air compressor and the 18 gauge Brad nailer that came with it. So I believe that the air compressor is going to be sufficient for my needs. I, I was able to mount a couple of tires using the air pressure from it without running low on air pressure. So it seemed to work just fine. Uh, the Brad Nailer is good for some small projects around the house, good for trim and molding and things like that. And so now I'm going to be retiring my old Craftsman 30 gallon air compressor. So if you got something out of this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to help support the channel, please consider subscribing or clicking the join button below to become a member. Thanks for watching. Take care.